Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful Ponytown News update video. Today we have ourselves version 0.96.4 and this adds lots of new things. Mostly improvements and quality of life uh, improvements and changes and things like that. Um, specifically, this update adds an emoji suggestion as you can see in this GIF here. And if I go in game right here and try to type in a, a, a freaking uh, a thing, like maybe I want to type in banana, boom, there we go. It's, it's like, oh, maybe you want to say bad or or boom or something like that those are words that are similar to that you can even press tab and it will actually switch between those things and then auto fill for you and you can say your emojis much easier this is honestly way better than hitting enter or whatever and then clicking the emoji and then looking for it somewhere in this and then clicking it and then and then tie and then sending it it's just a whole hassle so this is a huge improvement uh for the emojis uh and all, all in all really now they also added option to change camera follow sensitivity they also added camera centering on player using the l uh key there's also an action for it which is interesting they added focusing open chat when input input when typing uh forward slash added winter variants of filled barrels they also added the option to include character's name and supporter tag and things like that in the png and gif exports so whenever you get that little png of your character uh, you can also include the name in it now which is pretty nice they also added preserving character preview flipping and head turning in the editor so uh, if you're in the editor or whatever like that and you turn the head or you flip the character or whatever like that every single time you go to the game it's going to be like that until you change it back to the way it was before it preserves it now which is pretty nice. They also improved highlighting of selected players, improved highlighting of objects with map editing tools, they improved emoji centering, which is not necessarily uh, too noticeable, uh, but maybe you notice it, who knows. They improved phrasing of some settings, they improved some game settings, and they fixed lots of things here. Uh, a lot of things, even some map errors, isn't that lovely? Uh, none of that, none of those fixes are really too important or too interesting. Uh, you can pause to read if you want to, but what is most interesting about this update is the new building. So uh, there is obviously this highlighting now. So if I have this crowbar out like this and I hover over things, I can actually hover over certain things so I can find out exactly which one of these banners I'm going to take out of that mix. This is extremely good for stuff like that, but also just for stuff like this where you have a little picnic like this or whatever, and you're trying to hover over this and like, maybe I want that fruit. Previously, it was much harder to tell if I was about to grab that fruit or I was about to delete that fruit or something like that. But now it gives it a little outline and even you can even see it through uh, the little fez there a little bit so uh, it makes it a lot easier to actually select little things so lining things up and and a lot of little tiny details like that are going to be a lot easier to edit and mess around with now it doesn't just end there obviously if i was to grab this this uh little little, little fez here and move it over here you should notice that it actually changes uh, intangibility slightly uh, as it goes behind there so it kind of shows you how it's going to play out so uh, a better way to put this is to here I'll put a couple of tables down so if I was to try and put this sandwich on top of this table obviously I can't do that but as I move away on there you can actually see in the little preview there uh, if I zoom in here a little bit like that you can actually see that the, the sandwich becomes more and more transparent and more like translucent intangible uh invisible ish <laughs> whatever the right thing is is the opacity of it is changing kind of telling you like hey this is going to go behind this table this is going to go behind this object now this works for everything so if i bring this fruit down here and try to put this sandwich on top of it obviously if i put it right there it's going to go on top of it and as you can see in the little thing that's very obvious but as soon as i try and put it behind there it almost completely disappears like you can literally see the cutoff point so whenever you again whenever you're trying to line up things you you can do that much easier now because now you can actually see the point where it's going to go behind the other object this is extremely helpful now this extends to all tools so if you have your broom out the same thing happens except it will be red telling you that like hey you know this this is going to do something different this isn't going to this isn't going to like move the object or do something weird and wild like that this is, this is going to delete the object now of course you can obviously hold shift and change it because now now it's going to clone it instead or hold control and it changes it of course as well because it's going to it's going to do something different and all kinds of things like that this also works with all kinds of things so if i get uh, a little little thing here and I, and I find something that i can paint it obviously hovers over it and it gives me a little highlight because i can paint over it if i 
if I bring this rake out and go over things that can I can change the season of, boom, uh, it highlights it again in a much easier, much more uh, cohesive way to actually see it and see what things are going on. I mean, like, could you even tell there was a wall hidden behind there? I bet you couldn't. <laughs> no, you could. It, it, it's, it's somewhat obvious, but it makes it so much easier to see like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to change the season of that object or whatever else. So it's extremely helpful. Super, super, super good that we now have this. Uh, and honestly, I'm super excited about it. Now, obviously there's the other things. So if I actually open up the settings icon down here on the bottom right, you can see the camera centering thing there. All you have to do is grab this, bring it down to your, your other actions down here, and you can toggle it. Uh, and you can also press L on your keyboard, and it will do it as well. Uh, but if you go to your settings and go over to display uh, and scroll on down, you will see the camera follow sensitivity. I've actually turned it all the way to zero. That way the camera is always 100% of the time focused exactly where I am. But if you do uh, like this or whatever like that, this little screen square that you're seeing is actually the space that as soon as you leave that space the camera will start to move to follow you so at a certain point th like this it's always going to be centered on you but if you do like this and this and this and this this and this you'll see now if i don't as long as i don't go all the way to the little edges there uh the camera is not going to ever move now it's default at 40%, which is fine, I guess, but personally, I'm gonna leave it at zero. Uh, but just to kind of show you how the camera centering thing works a little bit, if I go up here to this top corner and I press L on my keyboard, it'll center it and automatically put me back over here. Previously, you had to, like if you were over here, you'd have to press O on your keyboard and then press P on your keyboard or like go back and forth or something like that. And it was a super annoying thing. So now that we have that, uh, it makes life so much easier. And now uh, I will never, never not have this on zero percent unless i'm doing something special but uh there's one more thing of course and that is character selecting so if i'm going to click a character it now highlights that character making things much easier to discern who you're actually hovering over and who you're actually clicked on and things like that so this is also another super super helpful thing uh and things like that in fact if there's someone behind someone it'll actually sh like go through them so to speak it'll make that part of their body like a little bit transparent and a little bit translucent it'll make it a little bit easier as you can see here this person's face is hard to tell what's going on with their face because I have this other person highlighted. So it's, it, 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 it puts more focus on it and it really helps uh, with stuff like that. So so that, that's uh, pretty much it for the changes uh, in this, uh, in this uh, little Ponytown update. Uh, one more time, here's the change log. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to some degree and I sure as heck would love it if you guys were to like, subscribe, share, maybe do all kinds of wonderful things like that such as become a channel member or something like that but until next time stay wonderful